Here's a 2012 Chevy Equinox LT front wheel drive four cylinder. This one does have a salvage title. I can't honestly tell you why it became a salvage title. Um, when we got this car, all the sheet metal was on, on it. Uh, you know, the fenders and the hood were fine. The front bumper cover was off, uh, but it came with the car. We didn't even have to paint it, so somebody took it off. The headlights were off, um, and again, I, I don't know why. Here you can see the frame rails. There's absolutely no damage there. Can't see anything whatsoever. You can see the lines. They all look great. I don't, uh, I don't have a clue what happened to this. Looking up underneath. Everything's all nice and clean and straight. There's the cooling. That's the original cooling even. I know the, uh, the radiator and condenser was not replaced. We didn't have to touch the cooling either. Uh, it, it's really kind of strange. I know it wasn't a flood car uh, because every flood car we've ever had, the brake rotors are just solid rust. And as you can see, those are nice and shiny. So, um, you know, and we didn't just cut them because if they were rusty, you know, they would be cut all the way to here, all the way to the outside. So there's, there's absolutely, you know, we didn't do anything to that either. So it, body wise, we'll kind of go around the vehicle. I'll point out any little scratches or dings that I see. I don't see anything on this side here whatsoever. In fact, the only part that we had to buy for this Equinox is this door handle. Somebody must have grabbed it too hard or it was locked or tried breaking into it or something. But it, you know, it's plastic so it does break easy. But we found one on eBay in color. Of course, it matches great. So no issues there whatsoever. That's not a, that was just a water bubble. Um, but, you know, works just fine. Little A to B scratch right there. In fact, this here is the worst part of the whole vehicle. Uh, you can see here there's kind of a gouge, a little touch-up paint will fix it. In uh, other words, it costs about $300 to get the rear bumper cover taken off and to get this painted. So, uh, usually if you're buying a salvage title vehicle, people don't care about a scratch like that. So that's why we didn't have it fixed. Um, here's another little nick there. On back, looks like somebody might have bumped it. There's just a little bit of a pucker right there, a little dent. I don't know if somebody ran their finger into it a little hard or something, I don't know. A couple little, oh, uh, that's just a scuff. That'll come off of there. There and there. You know, and whenever curtain airbags deploy, if airbags deployed, you always get a tear right in there. So, don't know, again, don't know. So, I, I know no curtain airbags deployed. Spare tire up underneath here. That's not rust, this is just some mud there. Uh, it does not have power rear lift gate. This is just manual. Power rear lift gate will have a button right there and there is no button. Another little scuff right there in the rear bumper cover. I don't know what happened there. Somebody rubbed up against the garbage can or something. Here you can see the, the back tires. I would say they're uh, probably 70% life left. Maybe 80%. Forgive my mess here. Uh, there's a little bit of a scruff, scratch here and here. I'm sure that'll buff off if you really want it off. A little nick right there in the mirror. Uh, front tires are about the same as the rear. Um, again, about 70-80% life left. And that's it as far as nicks and scratches go on the outside. And the inside here... 
Everything looks pretty nice and clean. We do have Bluetooth. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut it off here. We've only got one key, and as you can see, it does have remote start. We'll go ahead and do a fresh startup so you can see what idiot lights are on or not. And as you can see, everything goes off. Um, this white one right there is just telling me it's cruise ready. We'll go ahead and turn that one off. The green one is the eco light. We'll go ahead and shut that off. And then we just got mile per hour and then the seatbelt light telling me to put my seatbelt on. This one's only got 7,735 miles. Here we've got touchscreen radio. So, works really nice. do have an owner's manual, usually they are missing. Go ahead and put my seatbelt on here. Now when we do put it in reverse, uh, you can see the backup camera does come on, so she does have a backup camera here. Go for just a little drive. We did take it to the alignment shop just to have the alignment checked. The alignment's perfectly fine. You know, we're doing well, about 40 miles an hour right now. And you can see there's no shimmies or shakes in the steering wheel. In fact, I let go of the steering wheel entirely. I'm not touching it. And you can see we're still going down the center of the road. I'm still not touching the steering wheel, in fact. And now I hit the brakes good and hard. You can see I'm still not touching it. We just come to a stop, didn't pull, and we're still in the middle of the road. So it runs and drives fine. Um, honestly, there's no issues about it. Uh, we've driven this vehicle just about a thousand miles now. Uh, you know, again, it's a goofy thing. I, I don't understand why it was a salvage title. I don't know if it was a theft vehicle and somebody started to tear it apart and then they got arrested and they didn't get it tore apart all the way. I, I don't know. Um, it's quite goofy, but uh, you know, it's a very clean Equinox otherwise. No funny smells in here. Uh, smells every bit brand new. Again, it runs and drives perfect. Handled great at highway speeds. You know, we're only doing about 45, almost 50 right now. And, uh, you know, there's, there's absolutely, again, I'm letting go of the steering wheel. We're going straight down the road. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to email. Thank you.